So we'll continue as we set the pattern recently, which is to say we'll, this will be a seated practice. Uh, we'll do a little bit of uh, work with the breath to settle in. We'll do some scripture, see what commentary comes through. We'll practice three sources and some quiet sitting. Most important part about your seated posture, your posture in any situation is the spine is straight, including the neck. Guidance is to establish uprightness and openness. You feel the weight of your sit bones pressing down. Lift the perineum. This is not a forceful movement, but just a change of direction. We continue that lift up the spine, making space between the vertebrae, straightening the neck. We'll find the chin tucks, reaching up through the crown. Open the heavenly gate, the crown. So we're contained below and open above. Relax the eyelids, hanging the curtain. So the eyes are neither open nor closed. The eyelids are simply relaxed. This is to do with vision, but we use the pointer to remind ourselves to dim all of our senses, to balance our usual outward reaching of perception with the inward perception so that we can simply rest openly. This includes the mind. Press the tongue to the roof of the mouth behind the teeth. Like the perineum, this is just a gentle connection. Teeth and lips closed. Breathe through the nose. Slow, smooth, deep, and even breaths. We call it the silk breath. Silk because it is smooth and continuous. No interruption between the inhale and exhale. Like the single thread of silk, the silkworm uses to make its cocoon. Our cocoon, our transformative vessel of the breath is also smooth and continues. So we'll gently use the breath to open up our spine, our midsection, our central channel, 
will allow us to sit quietly as the scriptures are engaged. Bring your attention to your upper dantian, centered below your crown, between your temples, behind your third eye, your eyebrow heart. Just rest your attention there. Inhale, hold the breath, and circle your head around five times in each direction with the breath held. If you run under breath, it's okay, but the goal is to keep it held all of the cycles. Inhale and hold. You can start bringing the chin to the chest and then up and left. Slow, steady exhale. On the one hand, we want to expand the limits of the breath, and on the other hand, we don't want to get out of breath in practice. Let's go ahead and do this pattern two more times. Inhale and hold. Five left, five right. Inhale and hold. Five and five. Move your attention to your middle dantian. We'll rotate the shoulders, help open the chest and the spine behind and in front of the middle dantian. Middle dantian, the level of the heart and in the center. And put your hands on your hips. The between the thumb and index finger on the creases of the hips and help you get a little more extension in your shoulders. So inhale and hold with the attention in the middle dantian. We'll rotate the right shoulder forward, back and down 
and around five times. And then the left, continue with the breath hold if you can. Slow, steady exhale. Next, a similar pattern, but the shoulders will rotate the other way. To facilitate that, and do a kind of swimming motion with the arms. This will be alternating, but five on each side. Inhale and hold. Return. Now we'll rotate the whole spine like it is a vibrating string or instrument or like a jump rope. With our focus on the solar plexus. Inhale and hold five times in each direction. Exhale and settle back to center. Bring your attention to the lower dantian. I'm going to rotate the hips. You can imagine you're stirring with the tailbone. Five times in each direction with the breath held. Inhale and hold. Steady exhale. You can feel now relatively warm and comfortable in the center. And so as I read or speak, just let it wash over and through you. Don't worry too much about piecing together meanings. Upright and open, resting in open awareness.
The rousing chimes of white jade purify the ten directions and bring peace to the rivers and oceans. The high peaks bear the weather and the myriad spirits bow, requesting the presence of the immortals. Purification, peace, devotion, honor. Heaven is freed of impure air. Earth is freed of all temptations. Obscure wisdom is clearly perceived. So vast and generous is the mystery beyond mystery. The celestial worthy of the great veiled three treasures. May your numinous voice pervade every place, extinguishing wrongs, dissolving transgressions. May your treasured signs pervade every time, coming to the aid of those in need. May this altar be open so the teachings in these verses manifest. May our efforts be meritorious and in alignment with the teachings that follow. You'll hear as we proceed kind of repetition in orientation and view that is simply expressed in a different way, sometimes more narrative, sometimes more abstract. So just as we heard the jade chimes purify the ten directions, it's the same as the numinous voice extinguishing wrongs and dissolving transgressions. Ascending to the highest altar with a stepping toward emptiness song. This is the practice, the path, stepping toward emptiness. The character of the path is the song, the ways that we express it. We pray that the lands be blessed and avoid even the shortest drought. Today, our pure hearts present at the golden watchtower within. Pure gold radiance awareness. Watch tower, place of observation. Amidst the morning's peaceful haze of incense, the jade furnace burns. This is the container, the body containing the awareness, the fire and warmth of transformation. The central territory is fortified, mountains and rivers are robust. This is the territory and this is the body too. Upright and open, the mountain is upright, the rivers are open and flowing. The immortal splendor is expansive and the saints and sages are luminous. Radiance radiates. When we all pay respects to the ancient sages each day, the year's harvest is plentiful and people enjoy peace and tranquility. Celestial worthy of constant clarity, constant stillness. Our image of realization, constancy in clarity, stillness, a stateless state, radiant and empty. When the realized mind is clear and still, the Tao has fulfilled our ancestral purpose like the culmination of the pearl moon. May the darkness be swept from our minds until no obstacles remain and a full circle of light fills the great void. The highest medicine is within the body. Shen, spirit, qi, energy, jing, essence. Each of us has the capacity to eliminate deficiency and excess, arriving at center. May we come to know the primordial unity by reversing the way to nurture each day the yellow sprout 
in the golden tripod. Nourishing our recognition of our true self, of truth itself, each day. Before the altar, we are all the same, each of us reverent within and without. To our heartfelt summons, the Tao replies. So we recite these scriptures and follow the teachings. Incantations. Tai Shong Tai Shing, adapting to change without end, expelling evil and binding demons. Protect my destiny and guard my body. May my wisdom be luminous and pure, the spirit of my heart mind at peace, my three hun everlasting in my pole undying. Chi Chi Lu Lu. Don Ju, spirit of the mouth, expel the filth and foul air, so Jung Lun, spirit of the tongue can infuse my destiny with spiritual nourishment. Luo Chen, spirit of the teeth, reject perversity and protect truth. So Hu Mun, spirit of the throat, can guide down the liquid spiritual qi. Dan Yuan, spirit of the heart, enable me to penetrate reality. So Lian Yi, spirit of thought, can constantly abide in the Tao. Ji Ji Wu Ling, may this order be swiftly carried out. These are like stamps or talismans calling forth a particular energy. So that we can resonate with it, become it internally. Ling Bao Tian Jun, comfort my body, tame my hun and pole, harmonize my five organs. May the green dragon and white tiger command my bewildered mind. May the red phoenix and dark warrior Guard my body. Gigi Wuli. A cloud inscribes the great emptiness, initiating a new cycle of being. Far away one moment, close the next, sinking here, floating there. It flits about in the five directions until, suddenly complete, it lingers. A new cycle of being, an image of being coming into being, out of the great emptiness. Tianjin Huangren presses down the brush to write, an immortal. He acts as a conduit for the seal, a stage for performing a sacred talisman. Just like the cloud, it is bringing into being. Yuan Shu descends, celestial worthy of the original commencement of the initialization of existence in totality, but also in each moment. True writing is born as the ink spreads. It is so clear it is without any obscuration. Illnesses resolve on their own. The weight of the world is lifted. We are healed and liberated. We are protected by the spirits of the unseen realms. Our ascent to the immortal realm is a show. Revelations. We bow and take refuge in the wondrous Tao, our highest mind in humble reverence to the twofold mystery of reality mystery that is again mysterious. 
naming it is to limit it. So we remind ourselves that it's beyond name. It is mystery, mysterious and again mysterious. Turn now to wholeheartedly consider the basis of mind. This scripture guides our course understandings accordingly. The emptiness of form, the form of emptiness, and the non-existence of existence, our original nature. Sheen. The existence of non-existence, the non-existence of existence, and the form of emptiness are harmonious. They are equal. The winds of wisdom arise from the power of celestial worthies to sweep clean the realm of our minds, leaving no dust. So you can hear the narrative expression of the bright light fills the great void arising out of emptiness. With true devotion, spiritual radiance constantly supports us, confirming our vows each day that watches over our human minds. Each day watching over our minds and finding confirmation, it is certain that our mundane bodies will attain the body of the Tao. Radiant emptiness. At that time, Yuan Shi Tianzun, celestial worthy of original commencement, was resting at the seven treasures grove, in the center of the inner palace of the five illuminations. This is abstract and mythical. You can also think of it as the upper Dantian. Boundless, the saint is completely liberated, this celestial worthy. Boundless, he is radiant, luminous and aware. Boundless, he observes the boundaries of this world. Boundless, he sees all living beings suffer. This is also the condition of the sage in the orientation of practice. Concentrating in boundlessness, we observe the boundaries, we observe the manifest world. Distressed and entangled over and over by the mundane world, the living beings suffering, cycling through life and death, swept up in the swift, turbulent river of lust, languishing in the sea of desire, and trapped by sensual pleasure. Of existence and non-existence, non-existence of emptiness, existence of emptiness, non-existence of form, existence of form, non-existence of non-existence, existence of non-existence, existence of existence and non-existence of existence. From start to finish, they remain dim, unable to enlighten, lost and bewildered to the end. So the celestial worthy encouraged all sentient beings to follow these principles. Non-existence is within existence. Non non existence, like the twofold mystery, again mysterious, naming it does not make it a thing, or we don't want to allow it to make it a thing that we point to, identify. Non non existence is within non existence. Formlessness is within form. Non emptiness is within emptiness. Neither does existence cause existence nor does non-existence cause non-existence. Neither does form cause form, nor emptiness cause emptiness. Breaking down our habitual understanding of a causal relationship to reality. Everything is simultaneous and equivalent. Emptiness is precisely emptiness, but emptiness is not only emptiness. Form is precisely form, but form is not only form. Form is actually empty, emptiness is actually form. If you can understand that emptiness is not empty and form is not form, then you too will be called radiant and the wondrous music will announce the completion of your earthly journey. 
illustration, articulation of complete realization. Recognizing non-existence and emptiness, you have penetrated the teachings. Seeing without obstruction through the gate of the miraculous multitude, you understand things as they are, free from all doubts, guiding principles are not needed. Watching emptiness, clear and still, the roots of the six senses and all bad karma are cut off. Thus, I have explained it to you. Everyone who follows the scriptures thereby embraced and protected. Adversity is held off. The weak are held up. All sentient beings are delivered to perpetual liberation. At that time, the celestial worthy recited this explanatory, explanatory verse. Looking without seeing, listening without hearing. We leave behind all types of boundaries. This is called the wondrous Tao. So we allow the light of the numinous to reverberate, chasing out any shadows, any clinging. We are more and more able to simply rest. Without reflecting, without planning, without altering. And how do we practice without Practicing, how do we do without doing? Change without altering.
simply recognize that while we abide without intervening, we are like a sprout that simply turns toward the light. The numinous voice, the numinous signs, the numinous forms are simply light and our natural pattern, the natural pattern of all being is to turn toward the light. So as we practice, it is with this orientation. And even if we are feeling that we are choosing to practice, we will choose now to practice this form. The impulse behind that choice is simply turning toward the light. Three sources practice begins with the pure yang mudra, pinky tips touching, middle finger tips touching, thumb tips touching. It's as if you're holding a ball between your palms. Thumb and index are on the horizontal, so it's not tipped forward. The pinkies are down, held at the level of your lower dantian, so your thumbs will be approximately at your navel. The twelve parts of this form follow the twelve parts of the year. This is the initial stirring or rising energy in the winter. Your mind is at the level of your palms in the central channel. Lower down to you. The breath pattern is to inhale and hold, and then finish with the hum. H E N G with the mouth closed sounds like, <laughs> and you should feel it kind of vibrate in your lower belly. okay if your rhythm is different than mine. Inhale and hold. Keeping the focus, the lower dantian. Exhale with home. <laughs> this home is like a lightning bolt between heaven and earth. The sudden brightness in the belly chases out the shadows and it gathers, stimulates the warmth in the lower belly. Thoughts are like shadows too. The home can chase away the thoughts. Let's do two more. Inhale and hold.
Hmm. When it becomes comfortable and familiar, you can add some physical compression around the lower down team. Pressing down to diaphragm, pulling up at the perineum, and compressing physically with the belly and the lower back. In a steady, firm way, not a sudden, tense way. Inhale and hold. Exhale with the home. <laughs> Let the breath be returning to self breath. Slow, smooth, deep, and even. Transition, earth, heart embraces all. Palms facing down, approximately over the knees, now at the level of the navel, and your awareness in the central channel has moved up to behind the navel. Your orientation energetically is one of embracing all, accepting Fruition. These are the qualities of the earth and the earth heart. The mantra is who. We'll just do this one time. The pattern will be inhale and hold, and then a gentle who to release. Inhale and hold. Exhale with a gentle who. Whenever it's comfortable, we can add a gentle hold on the exhale, remaining empty. Now we'll inhale and gather with the hands around back. The palms end up facing the sky with the wrists to the ribs and now at the level of the solar plexus. Holding the breath here. We'll exhale with a gentle shoo. The hands will come forward, staying at the same level. You don't have to go to full extension. Exhale with shu. Shu. Holding empty if it's comfortable. And we'll gather again. Palms go down and out and around. We arrive higher. Wrists against the, against the ribs, the hands in the Taoist Reality Mudra. The index and middle finger are pointing forward. And the 
pinky and ring are pointing to the sky, the thumb is outstretched. Sincerity opens the true Tao. Sincerity reveals reality. The mantra here is Holmes, H-O-N-G, a little more forcefully, resonantly, as the hands come all the way forward. Take another breath. Hold. Hold. Oh. Five of the hands come together. We'll sound the same mantra as we cycle the hands back. The mind follows down and through. And we arrive here. Another breath if you need it. Three layers become one. Three layers mudra, the pinkies to heaven, thumbs to earth, three middle fingers directed at each other, connected energetically. Inhale and hold. And with the mantra, ha, we're going to open, extending beyond the boundless, Extend, extending beyond to the boundless. Take another breath if you need it. Not the ha. Ha. We've moved up the central channel. Now we're going to return to the root, to the tailbone, to return to the physical body and continue the cycle. So inhale. The mantras in the golden turtle mudra, hollow palm, straight fingers, direct the fingertips at the kidneys as you sound the mantra, hi, hey. The mouth closed, sounds like <laughs> so here. Hi, hey. <laughs> you gotta drop into your pelvis. Let's do another round to get that feeling. Hi, hey. <laughs> and with the mantra Ong, um, we're gonna bring the energy up the spine. It's really just vibrating to open the spine. The chin to the chest, the teeth slightly touching, and feel that vibration translate into your skull, into your spine. As the hands come up and forward into a prostration. Deep breath. Spine is curved as if around a ball. It's still extended, not folded, pinched. Ung. Inhale, straighten the spine. The arms come up into a V. The spiritual chi mingles at the purple palace. Purple palace is upper dantian. Take another breath if you need it. The mantra is Wong, W E N G, connecting to spirit. Wong. Oh. Inhale and return the light, radiance, palms facing the crown, hold the breath. And with a gentle home, oh, bring the hands and energy down, the mind down. <laughs>
Arriving the silver light mudra, thumb tips, sides of the index fingers, touch, diamond centered over the navel, hands gently touching the bottom. Bright moon on Mount Kunlun. Our bodies, the mountain, our mind, the moon. The culmination of the cycle, the bright light fills the great void. cycle that has occurred naturally as we have abided in radiant emptiness in a stateless state. And watched over being as it moved through the cycle. Bright moon on Mount Kunlun. And finally, Ching Jing Wu Wei, clear, still, long doing. When all is said and done, there's nothing to say and do. For men, the right hand clasps the left. This is the Tai Chi Mudra. For women, the left hand clasps the right. The inner thumb is in the palm. Outer thumb is between the index and thumb on the opposite hand. Thumb of the glowing belly. We start in Ching Jing Wu Wei, we end in Ching Jing Wu Wei. We remain in Ching Jing Wu Wei.
with the pervasive fire closing. Inhale, hold your breath, clap your hands above your head, make fire between your palms, massage your face, head, ears, neck, torso, and limbs. Inhale. Thank you.